A couple from Shropshire who'd planned to tour the world until Covid saw them stranded in their camper van in Turkey have decided to continue their trip. Now back in the UK, Chris and Marianne Fisher have more than 65,000 people following their Tread the Globe YouTube channel. John Bray's been to meet them. Back in Telford with a mug of tea isn't how it was supposed to be. We left the UK in January 2020 to attempt to drive the circumference of the planet. Um, it was all going super well until Covid hit and uh, we'd just arrived in Istanbul in Turkey. We'd planned originally three days filming in Istanbul, three weeks filming across Turkey, mm. which ended up being 95 days in a car park yeah. and 18 months in Turkey in total. Yeah. Like everyone, um, our world was thrown upside down, um, but living in a home, in a car park in Istanbul, like so many other people, you just have to get on with it. Thousands of people tune into their YouTube channel every week. Oh wow, look at this. This is a proper market. We have arrived in the Turkish city of Mardin. Yes, that in the distance. That's Syria. Russia was next on the itinerary, but the no-entry signs are up. The best way for us to find a solution about driving around the world in the wrong direction is to do the other direction. Which is now the right direction. Which is now the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to drive across the bottom of the states, maybe pop into Mexico. So the adventures continue, but should they in a pandemic? It could be considered complete and sheer madness to some that we would even consider doing or continuing, um, you know, now we're home, why would you start again um, off on another adventure during a global pandemic? But for us, the biggest risk is waiting, is waiting for the right time. John Bray, BBC Midlands Today, Telford.